This evening I'm going to be flying in economy class on a short overnight flight from Boston to London with Virgin Atlantic. Virgin is known as a quirky and fun airline, so we'll see what that experience is like and whether or not it's worth it. This is one of the best ways to book travel across the pond using points, and I'll show you how I booked this last minute flight for only 10,000 Amex points and $150 in taxes and fees. This is the first of five videos in my 2022 Around the World Tour. Yo, my name is Jeff and I believe the journey is half the fun. Hello friends and good evening from Boston Logan Airport. Well, I guess I had such a good time flying on Virgin Atlantic last time that I am back here again to try Virgin Atlantic's economy class. So this is actually going to be the first time I've done a review in economy class and this is going to kick off my 2022 around the world tour. So I'm actually going to do a full circle and fly all the way around the world. We're going to start off in London, do a couple of flights in Europe before heading over to India and then over to Singapore where we're going to end up taking the world's longest flight all the way back to New York City. For those of you that follow me, I do fly in economy class more often than not, and uh, today I'll be way back in row 62K. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I survive the, uh, the overnight adventure. So I got here nice and early, but I don't have uh, any lounge access, obviously, since I'm in economy class. Now I could use the priority pass lounge, but we'll just get the full economy class experience today. Today we'll be flying on a nine-year-old Airbus A330, and we'll be in one of 185 economy seats in a 242 configuration, although a few rows in the back are 232. So unlike usual, I'm not the first to board today. I'm gonna have to wait my turn. <laughs> and now we're riding row 65. Good, how are you? Thank you. Now I'll admit economy class isn't always the most pleasant experience, especially on an overnight flight, but hopefully I get lucky with an empty seat next to me. Hello. Hi there, welcome on board. Go straight across and make a right and Thank you'll you. sit. Now considering on off-peak dates with Virgin, you can book about five economy seats for the points and fees you would use for just one upper class seat. Now there is incredible value here, especially if you're trying to take the whole family on vacation or stretch your budget in other ways, like maybe splurge on a fancy hotel. All right, we're gonna be traveling on Virgin's economy class overnight. Now hopefully this seat next to me stays open, but I have no clue. So we'll, we'll see, we'll cross our fingers, but either way, it should be a great flight. It's pretty comfortable, a little bit more leg room than I think you usually get. And there's even a pillow, which you often don't get on United Airlines first class. In addition to the pillow, a blanket, relatively decent headphones, and a sanitizer kit were also provided. And be sure to follow me on Instagram for live travel updates and occasionally some sweet travel deals posted in my stories. It will now be your personal choice where you wear the mask during the flight. This is because of this service, the international regulations around the mask wearings do not apply. And not a whole lot to see here in the dark, but after a quick taxi, we're soon off and up in the sky. Well, we're on our way pretty quick. That was a very smooth takeoff out of Boston. We're looking at under six hours tonight, so it's gonna be a really short flight. I will stay up for the dinner service and then I'll check out the sleep after that. So I'm already pretty tired. After a brief delay due to the usual start a meal service turbulence, uh, we've got a meal. So we had two choices, chicken fajita or a vegetarian cottage pie. So I went the chicken fajita and let's check out what we got. All right, so we've got here a bread roll. A little dessert item, butter for the bread. Okay, so clearly I did a terrible job unpacking that, but it actually looks really good and uh, pretty excited. We got real chicken fajitas. We will also continue to monitor the clean our toilets throughout the flight, but please let the crew member know if there's anything we might have missed. Well, there's certainly nothing to complain about here in terms of cleanliness. This is definitely not the best loo that I have ever reviewed. However, I do appreciate the multiple lights in the mirror and important amenities such as hand soap, tissue, toilet paper, paper towels, and all the good stuff. All right, now let's get back to the seat and check out the IFE. The selection of movies and TV shows was fantastic, just like my last flight in upper class but the touchscreen functionality was pretty awful and the passenger in front of you is definitely gonna feel it when you're trying to select your movie. In like plane, that's my favorite movie. Well, we got about 
50 minutes ago. It looks like we're just about to start a descent. Uh, they had a little snack for the morning meal. We had a croissant with the cheese, which wasn't so bad. So unfortunately, I only got like an hour of sleep. So hopefully, uh, be able to check into the hotel early. I really hope, because <laughs> definitely need to catch up on some sleep. But that's an overnight flight in economy class for you. I booked this flight by transferring just 10,000 American Express points to Virgin Atlantic and then booking directly with Virgin. Recently, American Express had a 25% transfer bonus with Virgin, which we used last time to fly in upper class, and I've linked that video below. I primarily use the Amex Platinum card, which has some incredible benefits for frequent travelers, but does carry a high annual fee. However, in many Amex cards are in membership reward points that can be transferred to many airlines just like this. And in most cases, that's gonna be the best way to maximize the value of your points. Currently with the Platinum Card, you can earn up to 100,000 points by signing up and meeting certain spending thresholds. That's enough points to use for a family of five to go round trip to London from the East Coast like in tonight's flight. And you could help me create more videos like this if you use the referral links that are included with the info that I've linked below. Honey Rocket connecting customers, uh, if you do require the assistance of our ground staff team, they'll be located just outside the aircraft door and also in the baggage reclaim areas. Once again, very good morning, welcome to London, thank you. Well, unfortunately, as we're a little bit ahead of schedule, our staff is occupied for the moment, so we've got to just wait here for a few minutes, so please remain seated with your seatbelts on, thank you. Captain Crew, thanks for your help on tonight's flight, please prepare the doors for arrival. Okay, there you have it. That's Virgin Atlantic Economy Class to London. I almost walked off the plane without my wallet. That would have been terrible. So welcome to London. Had a great flight on Virgin Atlantic and Economy Class. The flight crew is amazing. They were really super helpful when I lost my wallet at the end of the flight. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. It really helped me out. And if you want to see where I'm headed next, make sure you're subscribed. The things that I liked most about this flight was the friendly service that Virgin Atlantic is really known for, the great food, the chicken fajitas were a nice surprise to have in flight and I really enjoyed it, no seat neighbor, it was definitely a plus flying economy class with no one next to me on an overnight flight, and overall this is an outstanding value costing only 10,000 points and $150. Now the things that could have been better would be the IFE touchscreen. It was very hard to operate and would definitely be annoying to a person sitting in front of you. Unfortunately, the economy class loo was really small in size and it would have been nice to have a little bit more space in the bathroom. And the high fees and award redemptions, although this was still a great deal, if you're flying on a US airline, an award redemption would only cost $5.60 in taxes leaving the US, you wouldn't have to pay the additional fees on top of that.